Try again. Uh, well, what? Look at, look down at the water. Know. Look down at the bucket. Remember what I said. I said, don't fill it all the way because it'll be too heavy. So let's get another bucket and pour out some of that water. All right, try again. Is that better? Yep. All right, bring that to the garden shed so we can moisten our seed starting soil. Good job, Rowan. I want to put Ow. shoes on next time. <laughs> That's good. That's close enough. Thank you. Now you want to mix up some soil and water? <laughs> Are you done gardening for today? Yeah. You want to plant peas with your brother? Go plant some peas with your brothers. They're having fun. Just poke a hole in the ground and stick some peas in. Good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. Well, you know, just trying to get my calf to go back in through the barbed wire, figure out where she gets out from. That'd be nice. You know, I got a baby falling asleep on me. Come on, lashes. Is that where you're getting out? If that's where you're getting out, you can go back in that way, can't you? Mama's calling you. Can't go in there with you because it's all bramble. What are you doing, baby girl? See, Mama's calling you. You better listen. Got her. She's pretty good when she gets out, but boy, it's a pain. Looks like cow hair to me. We think we know where she's getting out. She's definitely at least gotten out this spot once because of the hair we can see. And this is where she kept coming back to and trying to get back in. So we're gonna try to keep our calf lashes from getting out again. She's been just getting out and going in this hay field and eating the grass, which our neighbors already said she's comfortable with, but it does not make us comfortable to have her off of our property and outside of a fence. Even if we're able to lead her back into the pasture pretty easy, it's just a big risk we don't wanna take with our sweet baby. So we're gonna add another pole in the center of these two poles and we're gonna pull the barbed wire closer together so that she won't be able to squeeze through two pieces and hopefully that'll do the trick. See? middle one attached lower, closer to that bottom one, that way she can't squeeze through anymore. Boy, she was coming in through here where all this bramble is. I can't imagine that being very comfortable for her. It had to hurt. Maybe I need guidance on this. Am I doing it right? Do we doing it wrong? I'm doing it the girl way. <laughs> it's gone around twice already, so I think it's... Yeah, that's gonna stay. So, the reason why I'm doing this part, and not the pro, is because he's pro daddy right now. <laughs> Lift his little head up. Sweet baby. I'm trying to get it under. I don't want to cut myself on barbed wire either. Kind of scared of it. 
Maybe the bottom. I don't know. Like I think once her toe, her nose touches the fence, she's gonna back off. Like it was the fact that there was such a big opening that made her push through. So I think her coming against stuff is gonna be helpful, even if it's not sharp. You know. When I pulled up the side, I was gonna bring it back to the door. Like an option. I have it got We're making nature. I would I would consider this camouflage. Camouflaging a hole? Yeah. I think that'll work. Where is that hole? Basically, she can't get out for much longer. She's already almost too big to fit through that hole. So I think that this should get us through the next couple of weeks where she's small enough to fit. And then our property will completely be boundary proof, hopefully. I don't mind them getting out into the woods from the electric net fence that's not electrified and into here, but I don't want them leaving the barbed wire, which right. goes around the entire perimeter of the property at the back. It does not go across our front yard or anything, but we're looking into possibly doing some board fencing on the front yard, just in case they were to get out goats or cows. Um, it would just be a visual barrier for them to helpfully, hopefully keep them from getting in the road. <laughs> what do you think? Good. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Good job. How far do I need to go in for this pole if it's just supporting a single tarp? I still go <laughs> about a foot deep. Huh. Maybe I should wait until you don't have a sleeping baby. That'd be fine too. <laughs> this fence pole digger is not the best. I just want to get the pole so that we can put the tarp up on the pole. Okay? Okay. Wee! Look at those babies. It is warm here today in Georgia. Probably should have gotten in here and done a hive inspection this morning, but we were busy with something else. So. Definitely, definitely bringing in some pollen and nectar. Good girls. did this. This is what we just put up like 20 minutes ago. I fell at her. Caught her going over the premier fencing. That's where she's been getting out of the main paddock and then in here in our woods. She just went right to the spot that we patched up and she can't get through.
Do you like being in the woods? Just doing some extra following of her. Since she couldn't get out the normal spot, this is kind of an idea to find out if there's any other spots that she can get out. So far, she's went back and forth twice now. And we've just been staying behind safely, not, not pushing her. We don't want us to be the reason. <laughs> oh, you're not liking it now? Dead. Dead, yeah. here the opposite side from where she got off she just called out for her mama at this point I'm just gonna kind of lead her up this way let's see eventually we'll have a solid fence going across uh oh need help There she goes. There she goes. Didn't need help. See, Laster? I told you it was better to stay with Mom. <laughs> Bat lashes. 